The Mackay City Council expects to start taking delivery of the hardware for its new $200,000 computer at the end of the month. The town clerk, Mr. Firstman, said today that during the next week, a specific centre would be offered to accommodate the equipment. There'd be a continuous program of staff training and loading data once the machine was installed. Mr. Firstman said a personal computer had already been delivered to the city engineer's department so staff could familiarise themselves with computer techniques. The first programs to be put into the computer would be the council's payroll and costing. The first late notices to come off the computer would be issued in September. The Mackay District Kangaroos Executive today unanimously endorsed plans for the Queensland Kangaroos Council to enter the fertiliser business. The Secretary, Mr Jack Smith, said the Mackay Group was concerned that there was some misunderstanding of the council's proposals. He said the executive would call on the state body to again fully explain its proposals to the annual meetings of mill suppliers committees in Mackay next month. Mr Smith said the council's proposal was to levy all Queensland growers six cents per tonne of cane in 1984 and 1985 to buy a controlling interest in North Queensland Fertilisers Proprietary Limited. The Plain Creek Mill Suppliers Committee today warned that the area's cane growers warned the area's cane growers that there'd been a mistake in the latest Bureau of Sugar Experiment Station's bulletin. A community spokesman said the bulletin claimed <laughs> approved for planting in the district. However, no one was correct as Q96 was susceptible to Fiji disease. It was important for plant food growers to be aware that well, for keeping 16 cannabis plants. His housemate, Edward Thomas Kane, 21, was fined $600 in default three months imprisonment for cultivating a single plant. Haynes was sent to prison for four months on a charge of driving while disqualified. Meanwhile, a Mackay man was jailed when he appeared in the Cairns Magistrates Court today on drug charges. Appearing on remand was Gordon Clarence Williams, 46, charged with possessing Indian hemp in Cairns on January the 2nd and with cultivation of marijuana at Daintree between June the 25th and July the 17th last year. Williams, a construction worker, pleaded guilty and was sentenced to two months jail. Gas authorities have warned people not to carry gas cylinders and aerosol packs in the patterns of their cars. Joey O'Connor reports. The warning follows damage to a car at the moment. Northwest Queensland has floods again as the wet season moves in. Greetings, Scott McKinnon with tonight's National Network News. We'll have more on the flood shortly. Also tonight, former Liberal Prime of Minister to Mr Tony Street to retire. Brisbane detectives uncover a quarterly operation in the checks. And in Western Australia, an urgent investigation into the operations of the CSIRO following a series of staff witnesses. Here the details. Much of central Australia is cut off by road and rail, and the floodwaters are causing trouble in Queensland and South Australia. Alice Springs is virtually isolated, and all trains on the central Australian line have been cancelled for at least five days. Railway lines west of Townsville could be blocked for up to one week, as floods will continue to hamper repair. Flinders Highway between Richmond and Julia Creek is unlikely 